Hello, hello everyone. Uh, as you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where it is that you are joining me from. My name is Tracy. I'm a member of Five Dinners One Hour and I'm getting ready to do just that. Prep five meals for my family um, for the week. So then throughout the week, I don't have to worry about the question, what's for dinner? I already know the answer to all of that. And it's great. I've been a member for about seven years now and I'm telling you what, I'm never turning back because it's so handy knowing what I have for meals, having all my ingredients, having everything prepped and ready. If I'm not home, someone else can hop in and put the meal in the oven, throw it in the skillet, throw it on the grill, whatever. Some of our meals are crock pot meals. We have all cooking methods. It's amazing. So real quick, um, five dinners, one hour. It, it does have a coupon code right now, 10 off, 10OFF. So definitely use that if you're planning to start the plan. As you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where you're joining me from. Again, my name is Tracy and I am in Arizona. So I'm going to let you know about prepping all my meals, how easy it is to do this, um, read you through some of the simple step-by-step -step instructions, and to show you how simple it is. I do have some dietary restrictions in my house, so I make some modifications for those dietary restrictions and it works out really, really well. Hey, Stacy, thanks for joining me. Where are you coming from? Hey, hey, to whoever is above you. Last name's Ryder. That's all I can see from here. I'm so sorry. Um, thank you so much. Okay, so you don't need anything fancy to prep your five meals, right? I got a cutting board, a knife, a pair of kitchen scissors, some measuring spoons, a can opener, and a couple of kitchen towels. You know, you can use paper towels. Like, you do you. You use what you have on hand, but you do not need to go out. You do not need to buy anything crazy. I'm going to mop uh, move you guys just a little bit so you get a better view, but it's really, really, really simple to do this and you need nothing fancy. So let's go ahead and get started with our first meal. I am making five meals today. All of these meals are a part of our um, combo plan. So we have a classic plan and a clean eating plan. Classic or more of your traditional American type meals. If you have picky eaters, people like to tend toward the classic. Again, don't forget about this coupon code, 10 off, 10 OFF. I'll keep it over here so we can keep talking about it as we go. You can't really see it there, but I'll see it and I'll show it to you. Um, anywho, um, and then the clean eating plan is as it says, it's more lean meats, more whole grains, more veggies. There are veggies on the classic plan um, too, but we have something to fit everybody. And then there's this thing called the family combo. It's the best of both worlds. You have everything, plus you have lunch recipes and all other sorts of bonus goodies. So let me grab all of my things out that we are going to need for the meals that we're prepping. Now, before I came live, I did two things. I washed my veggies and I, um, oh, put my meats in the containers they needed to be in. I'm like, there was something else I did. What was it? That was it. So hello in Philadelphia, hello in Chicago. So first up, I am going to be making, this is one we've done before, it's super delicious, mini loaded burgers. And my husband loved these so much that um, I made them again. And he was really excited when he found out I was gonna be making them again. So the mini loaded burgers are on the clean eating plan. It's one of our August recipes. It's still around because you have three months worth of recipes at all times. Hold on one second. Anyway. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. Anyway, let's, well, we'll just continue with the mini loaded burgers. So we're going to get going with the mini loaded burgers. Um, it says to divide our ground beef evenly into muffin tins. Now tip, when I'm prepping my meals, I like to take whatever, if I'm going to have a, a meal that is going to have, um, that's gonna use a bowl. I like to make that the first meal in my prep. And here's why. Because then that bowl is where I stick all of my dirty dishes for the rest of my prep and it goes super duper fast. Hey Janice, thank you so much. Yeah, you guys like, and if you are not already subscribed to Five Dinners One Hour over here on TikTok, please make sure that you do that because there are people going live all the time. There are time-lapse videos of people prepping their meals. There's tips, there's tricks, there's some recipes, all sorts of different things that you will find um, on the TikTok page. So definitely make sure that you like it. And we are a 
family of three, so I am prepping a serving size of three. So we're getting our ground beef going. Now this meal, the lo mini loaded burgers off the clean eating plan, these are gonna be served with sweet potato fries and salad. You don't dig on sweet potato fries, then do regular fries, tater tots, whatever it is that your family likes. Um, broccoli tots would be amazing with this. So now I just, I used a scoop, so they're all about the same size. Um, just a regular ice cream soup, it's about a quarter cup. And I'm getting everything scooped in, and then I just use the back of it to smush it in. And yes, it says to do this in a cupcake tin, and yes, I'm doing it in um, a brownie pan, because you know what? It's how I roll. I actually really like doing mini meatloaves and mini burgers and slider burgers and stuff like that in that. But here, because I've used this bowl um, for something, now this is my bowl of dirty items. And I'm just going to set this right in front of me, and all of my dirty items are going to collect in this while I am prepping my meals, which is amazing. Um, it just makes it cleaner, neater, easier for cleanup because I'm gonna make it a mess in my kitchen once and then I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be done for the rest of the week. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. So yeah, so um, like I said, we have two different meal, well, three really, different meal plans. We have a classic and clean eating and then we have the combo plan, which is the best of both worlds. And you have instant access to three months worth of recipes when you get it. And then each month, so like today, the last day of each month, brand new recipes come on and the oldest month fall off. But if you're like, but I really liked some of the recipes from the oldest month, that's okay. You can save them and keep them forever because it's like you're building your own personal recipe box. It's amazing. Um, love it. And like I said, I've been doing this a long time, so I have got a lot of recipes that I have favorited and that are going in my own personal recipe box over there. So this is what we need to do for the burgers. Got them good, got them seasoned, ready to go. And then they are also going to get bacon on top of them. And we're going to put cheese on some of them. Now, cheese is one of those things that not everyone in our house can have. So, but because it's a, it's a, a sensitivity, not an allergy, so I can cook them in the same pan and, and stuff like that. I'm cool to do that. But it's really easy to make modifications like that if you can't. You remember to save all your favorites, Janice. Awesome. Janice, how long have you been a member of Five Dinners One Hour? Um, I think you've been a member for quite a while. So yeah, so the July recipes just fell off, but right now we have August recipes, September recipes, and the brand new October recipes just came on today. And I'm not actually prepping anything from October because, well, I planned my menu yesterday because I wasn't thinking, um, <laughs> but that's okay. So you can prep your meals, you can plan your meals whenever you want. You can set as, um, choose as many meals as you would like, and you can, um, Set it for whatever serving size you want. And what's cool about that is once you set this, so once you've planned your meals, it generates a grocery list for you, which tells you exactly what it is that you need from the grocery store, right? Um, but coolest part, that grocery list adjusts. So when you adjust your serving size, like I said, we're a family of three. Um, it defaults to a serving size of six. So we're a family of three, but like say you're prepping for six. Like my friend Renee comes on here and she preps live a lot. She'll be live tomorrow night at eight actually. So be sure to set an alarm so you don't miss seeing Renee live. And she preps for six to nine people. So she always sets her serving at like six or nine. Um, I often set my serving for a serving size of three because that's what's best for our family. But if we're going to be having friends, family over, whatever, sometimes I might up that to nine. I have been known to prep for a dinner party before and set it to 21. But then it goes ahead and it automatically adjusts your grocery list for that, which is amazing. So I'm going to put the cheese on these, the cheese on two thirds of them and leave them off one third. And that works for us. Get these guys over here. And there we go. So there we go. Our first recipe. Where did my 
Hold on, where'd they go? Here they are. Our first recipe, the mini loaded burgers off of the clean eating plan is prepped and ready to go. So then on cook day, all I need to do is throw this and my sweet potato fries in the fridge. Um, it also calls for salad greens, and I just bought the pre-cut like Walmart bag salad. Um, that's what we're using. You can grab a salad kit. You can cut your own head of iceberg or romaine or whatever it is that you prefer. But um, I just go for the easy Walmart bag generally, and then um, we'll have that with salad dressing, and it'll be delicious. So yeah, so that's it for this one. Uh, we're oh, we're going to add some green onions to it. So here are my step-by-step -step instructions. I'm so sorry I didn't tell them to you. Divide the ground beef evenly into the muffin tins and press into the bottom to create a cup, right? Um, season each with, oh, I didn't, I forgot the salt and pepper. I added the Montreal, but I forgot the salt and pepper. So we're just going to go ahead and get in there with that. See, and you know what? It's real life. Real life, real cooking in my real kitchen and making real life mistakes. So, you know, sometimes... That's just how it goes. Get a little more seasoning on these guys. All right, there we go. And then top with bacon bits and cheese. Those are my three instructions. That's how easy it was. So now we'll cover this and put it in the fridge, but I'm gonna leave it uncovered for right now because, well, I didn't grab the foil. Um, so I'll do that after I after I turn you guys off. Um, yeah, and so it's super duper simple. And um, also you can, so we're gonna serve this with like green onion, pickle slices, the salad, the sweet potato fries, it also calls for ranch. We aren't ranch people, so I just left that off, but if you are a ranch person, add the ranch. Most people are ranch people, we're a little weird, it's fine, I totally get that. Um, so the mini loaded burgers, um, the ingredients for this recipe for my family of three, $9.64. So that's a total of $3.21 per person per serving, which is amazing. Okay, basket. So is the basket required to prep your meals? Absolutely not. Is it super handy? Yes. Are they cheap? Yes. I got these at the Dollar Tree, like before it was the Dollar 25 tree, but they still have them. You can get them for a buck 25 a piece. I like to put all of my ingredients for each recipe in one because that way I'm busy doing something, I'm talking, doing whatever. The kid comes in and um, asks me a question, needs help, someone uh, rings the doorbell or whatnot, I know what ingredients I have and haven't used already and I'm not accidentally gonna add chili powder to my recipe three times. So. It's just, it's handy and it makes cleanup super handy. And I also reuse some of the baskets in part of my cleanup, which you'll see, I'll show you at the end. So I'm just gonna stick that behind me so it's out of my way. And then we are going to move on to the barbecue chicken nachos. Is it a monthly subscription? Great question, it's actually a quarterly subscription. And again, if you use the code 10OFF, 10OFF, you will save $10 off the quarterly subscription. So honestly, it comes to like two or $3 a week um, if once you break it out. Um, so you can get the classic or the clean eating plan for $26. And the reason it's quarterly is because you have um, instant access to three months worth of recipes. So right now, if you hop on, you subscribe today, you are gonna see August, September, and October recipes. And then on October 31st, the August recipes will go away and you're gonna see November recipes and you're gonna have new recipes keep rotating on. So in either of those plans, the classic or the clean eating, um, you're gonna have 20 new recipes rotating on every single month. Um, or if you have the combo, you're gonna have 40 res new recipes rotating on every single month. But you always have access to either 60 or 120 recipes depending on the plan that you choose. It's amazing. Okay, so now another tip. You wanna make your meal prep go as quickly as possible. What you're gonna do, and this is what I would have done at the beginning if I had had more than one can. But what you're gonna do is you are gonna open all of your cans before you get started. Because then you're just doing this, you're not running around going, what did I do with my can opener? Where did it go? You're gonna make it just as easy as you possibly can. Get it all taken care of at once. I like to put my recyclable items behind me. You find a rhythm that works for you, honestly. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and drain this off and see this bowl, my dirty bowl from earlier? That's what I'm gonna drain into. So I'm not, not running back and forth to the sink. I'm not doing any of that. Okay. Okay, and then I did add a bring a little water over here for me because my sink is not where you guys can see me. So, get my beans rinsed out. So, 
The chicken I just put in there is that already cooked? Yes. So in this recipe, barbecue chicken nachos, calls for cooked shredded chicken. So you can buy cooked shredded chicken in your in the deli section of your grocery store. You can buy it in the freezer section of your grocery store, or you can do what I do, which is buy a rotisserie chicken. Um, I have a Costco membership and I have a Costco near, like very close to where things are in my life, things that I do often. And um, Costco in my area sells a rotisserie chicken for $4.99. And for my family, one rotisserie chicken is three meals. So I buy one or two rotisserie chickens about once a month. I just peel all the chicken off, pull the chicken off of them and have it ready to go. Cilantro, this recipe calls for cilantro. For your softer herbs like cilantro, parsley, whatever. If you put them in a jar, wash them first, right? Put them in a jar with water and change out your water once every few days or so. Um, it will stay fresh for you for a very long time. Keep it in the fridge. I've had this one is like, this is like week two. Um, you like to cook a bunch of chicken and freeze it by portion size. Love that. Yeah, that's what I do with the rotisserie chicken is I turn around and I freeze it by portion size as well. Um, a lot of people will buy a big bag of frozen chicken and cook it up in their slow cooker or their instant pot or whatever, or if chicken's on sale, go for it to have it. If you think you're going to want recipes with cooked chicken in them. Um, yeah, so really, really easy, simple to do, and it's just really, really handy. So organized. Thank you. This plan makes it easy. That's why. Okay, here are my instructions for this one. You ready? Two instructions. Chop cilantro and add to a medium bowl with the lid. Okay, I already did that. Drain beans and add to cilantro in bowl along with remaining ingredients. Now these are barbecue chicken nachos. So in theory, you would add cheese to this. Um, I do not add the cheese because again, not everyone in my house can have the cheese. And honestly, I really don't dig on the plant-based cheese. It's just not for me. But if it's for you, totally use it. And this barbecue sauce, this might be the end of its days. We'll see, but I think I'm gonna get it. Okay. So um, yeah, it's it's not my favorite uh, plant-based cheese. So what I do is I um, will just leave the cheese out and then um, we'll only put it on their servings when I cook the meal, which is fine. So now you could stir this, but why dirty another utensil? All right, so here we go. I've got the barbecue chicken nachos. I've got all of my ingredients in here, minus the cheese. The cheese will be added on top day of because not everybody in my household can have cheese. And I would prefer to just have it without cheese than to have um, plant-based cheese. So that's what we do. So on cook day, I'm gonna add it to a baking sheet with my tortilla chips. And then we are gonna serve this with some um, Spanish rice and some sliced avocado. Now the, the Spanish rice, it goes in the microwave for 90 seconds. So we don't have to do anything to prep it the day ahead. And um, avocado, obviously, we will slice that one day of because avocado. Avocado turns funky if you try and do it ahead of time. So that's it. This is my second recipe. It's actually, your recipes will be labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Q, double Z, whatever. Um, this is my A recipe because I did my E recipe first because I wanted to use my um, bowl. So I like to label, label it. So if I'm not the one getting dinner going, getting dinner on the table, my family knows what it is because I leave these on the counter and they can come and get whatever meal ready that they want to. So we're all about, five times one hour is all about making it, making dinner as easy, time efficient, cost efficient, everything efficient as possible for you, right? Hold on. So um, let me know, what is your biggest struggle with getting dinner on the table? Oh, that's a great tip for the cilantro storage. You'll try that. Please do because it, like if you're not going to use a whole bunch of cilantro, you don't want it to go wilty and sad and slimy. Like it works out so well. Are all the recipes this easy? Pretty much. 
Yeah, they are all pretty darn simple. Um, I have one coming up that's a little tiny bit more in depth, but not really. And if you want super duper simple, there's also a um, note that you can uh, search by, it's called dump dinners. And anything that's labeled as a dump dinner is super duper easy. So next up, we are going to do the Cuban sliders. I'm gonna set this aside. So please note, we are 20 minutes in. I've already prepped two meals. We've had a nice conversation, the whole thing. Like all the meals are set to be prepped in 10 minutes or less. That's how they are all written. You tried the garlicky tortellini and it was mushy. Then maybe cook it a little bit less. What do I have with what carbohydrates wise? The barbecue chicken nachos, tortilla chips, and rice. Oh, and my barbecue chicken nachos for my family of three, six dollars and fifty-eight cents or two nineteen per person per serving for those ingredients. Okay, so Cuban sliders. I picked this recipe because I knew I had some slider buns I wanted to use up. Now, again, we do, I am gluten-free, dairy-free. My family is not gluten-free, dairy-free, but they are sensitivities for me, not allergies, so I'm okay for us to prep in the same dish. So all I will do is get their regular slider buns going for my family in there. And I'm going to add my gluten-free bun or my gluten-free bread in here. And it works out really well with breakfast. With breakfast. Oh, is this only dinners? Have they ever done something with breakfast? I followed you, I followed you, I followed you. Yeah, actually, um, once you're a member, there are some breakfast and dessert bundles you can pick up and sometimes they do like um, cool member bonuses and stuff like that. And um, if you get the combo plan, you get uh, 170 cold lunches that come with it as well. No, you're okay, Brittany, I'm sorry. I just had to look far enough up to see it. Okay, line a baking dish with the bottom halves of the dinner rolls. Layer as follows. Even tells me what order to put the ingredients on. I'm gonna go ahead and get going on this, get our ham going here. These are Cuban sliders. The Cuban sliders are going to be served with French fries and salad. This is a classic recipe. The barbecue chicken nachos were also a classic recipe. Barbecue chicken nachos were an August recipe. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Oh, the Cuban sliders are also an August recipe. Apparently I was going to town on the August recipes this month. I think the first one I picked was an August recipe too. The, I don't know. I was feeling the August recipes this week. Sometimes that's how it goes. It's just, I, this week I wanted to not buy a lot of proteins because I have um, things in my freezers that I really want to use. So um, that's kind of how I picked up more this week. We're based on things that we're gonna use, that we're going to, um, I was gonna not need to buy the proteins for. Except for the ham, I did need to buy the ham. Okay. Let's get our pickles going in here. Woo. And now it's telling us to put the pickles in between the ham and the cheese, right? So that it doesn't get soggy. Because someone's going to ask, is this going to get soggy? No, it's not going to get soggy. Promise. Because they have you layer it in such a way. They've tested all these recipes. And they have you layer it in such a way that that's not going to happen. And it's going to stay good and stay fresh. Plus, you're going to bake it. And it's going to be awesome once it bakes up. Is the membership plus the groceries actually cost effective? 100%. Um, so the barbecue chicken nachos for a serving size of three for all of the ingredients, those ingredients cost $6.58, so $2.19 per person per serving. You can't do that in a drive through You just can't. Um, and let's see, what was my first, my first recipe? The mini loaded burgers, $9.64, so $3.21 per person per serving. That one's being served with sweet potato fries and salad. Um, the nachos are going with avocado slices and rice. Like, yes, it is incredibly cost effective. And I just remembered that this is a brand new Dijon mustard, so I'm gonna need to pop the top here. 
try to do all of that stuff ahead of time, you know, have all my new stuff like out and do it while I'm talking to you, but I forgot about this guy. Okay. Oh, I forgot the cheese, you guys. Y'all, I got busy talking. Happens. Where's my cheese? Um, so Janice saves a ton of money by shopping from home. Yes. Come on. So five dollars one hour definitely teaches you to shop your fridge, freezer, and pantry first. And like I was saying this week, I did not want to buy a bunch of proteins. I wanted to use up the things that I had on hand. So I, um, planned meals based on that. I knew that I had some chicken breasts I wanted to use. And so we're doing a chicken soup that is to die, a chicken potato soup that is absolutely to die for. We're doing that uh, here in a couple of minutes. We've got, um, and I'm gonna leave the cheese off for this one because the gluten-free is also the dairy-free one, which is sad because Swiss cheese is delicious. <laughs> but anyway, all right, I digress. But it saves so much money. So I used to spend, about $150 a week at the grocery store and heaven knows how much at Costco, um, you know, every month or so. And now I spend $75 a week at the grocery store and I spend um, $200 a month at Costco. So I spend a total of $600 for my family of three on my groceries um, every month. And that said, for me, that also includes household items. If I need toilet paper or dish soap or whatever it is that week, that is included in that budget for me. Um, but everybody does budgets differently. I understand that. But that's how I do it. So I am saving myself a minimum of $300 a month by using this plan. Yes, and it's $10 off right now with the code 10 off. Thank you. One zero FF saves you $10, which I mean, yes, please. Okay, so where's my little sticky note? This is recipe B. I'm gonna write that on here. It's gonna go on there so we know what's up. Okay, and then I've got another little dish which is going to get some butter in it. So on cook day, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt this delicious butter mixture and it's going to get brushed over the top of, um, of the sliders. And then the sliders are gonna get baked, right? And um, we're gonna cook up those fries and serve up the salad with it. Um, might even have fresh fruit. Sometimes instead of salad, um, this I saw this one as a tip on here, where like veggie trays. Like I'll just make up a veggie tray for the week and when it's time to have salad or whatnot or something to snack on or whatnot, we just pull the veggie tray out and go to town. Because with meals like this, veggies from a veggie tray, delicious. It's like being at a party. Do you freeze it or put it in the fridge? Great question. Um, all of these are set to go in the fridge. But what you're going to do is you're going to note the use by dates on your proteins so that you have... Um, so that you use them up in that order. And honestly, a good rule of thumb is seafood first. So like seafood and pasta dishes, it's gonna tell you best on day one or day two. Um, so you're gonna wanna cook those, and day one is the day you prep it. So you're gonna cook the seafood or the, the seafood dishes first, pasta dishes first, and then you're gonna move on to chicken, and then to pork and beef, and then to meatless meals, things with frozen proteins, anything like that in that order. Are there any pressure cooker recipes? There are. There is a um, bundle that you can get once you're a member that's solely pressure cooker recipes. It doesn't rotate, however, but um, there's a conversion chart for um, slow cooker recipes that you can do in the pressure cooker, and we have lots of slow cooker recipes as well. So here is number number B. Letter B, recipe B, Cuban sliders, served with french fries and a salad, all told for everything. Now these sides that I'm telling you, you can adjust them of course, but they are part of it. Like they go in your grocery list as well. Um, the Cuban sliders, uh, this one was my most expensive meal of the week for my family, $11.22 for the family. So $3.74 per person per serving. Um, you can't beat it, you really can't. 
Went to Chipotle with my family not too long ago and um, bought just the three of us and I bought um, three entrees and three drinks, right? Two burrito bowls, one burrito, $51, $51. Um, I didn't spend $51 on all five of these meals, including all of the veggies and stuff like that. Yeah, you're welcome, Brittany. Um, Janice said she preps two of the meals and puts one in the freezer, which is great. Yeah, you can do it whatever way is best for you and what is going to work best for you and your life. If prepping five meals at a time is not what makes sense to you, prep three or prep 30. Like there are people that do that. So you pick off what's best for you and your family. And you can choose as, as many or as few recipes to prep at a time as you would like. Okay, so that one's done. Let us move on to taco skillet. This is a skillet meal. It is off of the clean eating plan. And this one, I did make a slight modification. It called for ground turkey. But again, I wanted to use up what I had on hand. And so um, I chose to use ground beef because I had ground beef in my freezer. We got a cow a while back. And we're just about at the end of our cow, and I am wanting to use up the things. So here's my instruction on how to make the taco skillet. Add all ingredients to a large zipper bag. Zip around, zip to seal and squish around to mix. Let me show you how to zip to seal and squish around to mix. And I know that that sounds ridiculous. I recognize that that sounds ridiculous, but here's what matters. Do not take all of the air out of your bag so that you can get in there and you can squish it and you can move it and you can do all the things and make sure that the seasonings aren't all sticking in one spot and it's all getting, everything gets seasoned. Everything gets touched by the salt, the pepper, the seasonings, the, all of the things that you put in there, right? Then once you've got everything touched by all of the goodness, take some of the air out, roll it down over itself so you get as much of the air out as you can and there you go. See, I said it sounds crazy, but it's not crazy. So this taco skillet, this was literally all I had to do. This one's going to be served with avocado and green salad. Um, and this one, and we're going to have Fritos with it. This one is going to cost my family $8.46 for my family for a serving size of three. So $2.82 per person per serving. That's it. Okay, you just have a toddler and you're trying to figure out you like the two prep and one in the freezer. For sure, Brittany. And honestly, Brittany, you can prep it for any serving size that works for you. So, you know, for you and a toddler, you might want to set it to a serving size of 1.5. And you can totally, totally do that. Okay. All right. Yeah, and when you change the portion size on your recipe, it actually changes it for you in your grocery list. So you're only buying exactly what you need. And then your grocery list is going to, one, it's divided by where you find things in the grocery store. Hello, amazing. Two, it's going to tell you exactly how much you need. If it's like, and what recipes the things that you need are in. Like if it's like minced garlic and I need it in four recipes, it's gonna tell me the total of how much minced garlic I need and what recipes I need them in. Awesome, right? Okay, I went a little out of order, so I gotta get my next one up. Next, next up is the slow cooked chicken potato soup that I was telling you guys about. This is probably, of all of the recipes I'm making this week, this one is the most involved. But you'll see, see, even the most involved recipes are not that involved, they're very easy. I'm digging around here, I'm at the very, very dredges of this um, garlic, and I think I just did it. I think I just finished it off. Come here. All right, there we go. So this is done now, which is awesome. I did buy a backup because I wasn't sure if this was gonna be enough. All okay. right. My recycles go behind me. It's just kind of how I do this. Brittany, it's amazing. I'm telling you what, it is so easy. And then you are feeding your family ingredients that you're happy with, that you like, etc. So. Slow cooked chicken potato soup. What are my instructions? Chop.
chop celery and cut potatoes into small bite-sized pieces, okay? Oh, and I keep a trash can, another tip, I keep a trash can right next to me, or um, a lot of people do a bowl or a basket with like a bag in it or whatever. And you are good to go. Um, because then you're not making a mess. And like everything is literally getting dealt with right away. Okay, fun fact, my family hates celery. I love celery. But if it's in something like a soup, they don't mind it. And they miss it when it's not there because celery gives off such great flavor. So I can get away with it in soups. And then for snacks, it's just me, which is cool. The grocery list is a treasure. It is a treasure. It is a treasure. Also, um, if you are an Instacart kind of gal, any of you or guy, um, if you're an Instacart person, uh, it also links directly with Instacart if you want to use that lovely feature in your life. So, awesome. Oh, I gotta start cutting my potatoes. Okay. Now again, remember I washed all of my veg ahead of time. Now, how, Tracy, how are you gonna cut potatoes and have them not turn black when you prep them ahead and cut them ahead? Common question. One, you, it calls for gold potatoes. Use gold potatoes. Makes a difference. Two, it's going to tell you to toss it with olive oil. Toss it with olive oil. Have the olive oil toss to coat and they're not gonna turn black on you. All right, so what is your biggest challenge with getting dinner on the table? Um, I have a couple of challenges. My, well, my challenge used to be that mom, what's for dinner question. Um, or my husband says it, do you have a plan for dinner? I don't know why, but that made me insane. Do you have a plan for dinner? Like, do you? <laughs> you know, I used to hate that question. But like, seriously, he doesn't cook. That's not his thing, but he cleans the kitchen every night. So I am down for it. Um, you know, it's just, it's not his thing. And I enjoy cooking. So I do the cooking, but even though I enjoy cooking, I did not always enjoy figuring out what was going to be for dinner every night. I'm like, I fed you people yesterday. Stop already. And so, um, I no longer dread that question because I know what's for dinner every night. Right. And so do they, because it's on the counter, the, the recipes are on the counter or the, you know, my sheets, my instruction sheets are on the counter and they know exactly what's for dinner. And if I'm not gonna be home, they can pop it in the oven or I already put it in the slow cooker or pop it under the broiler or you know whatever it is that that particular recipe called for. Hold on. There was a spot on that potato. Okay. All right, just a couple more potatoes to cut up. And literally this is in, as in depth as this gets. So what is your biggest struggle with getting dinner on the table? Or if you're already a member of Five Dinners One Hour, what was your biggest struggle before you found Five Dinners One Hour? Um, my other thing is I have a kid that is in sports. And so like she gets home from school and we have 30 to 40 minutes before we have to be in the car. So I like to have dinner ready to go so that we can grab it and eat in the car and head to practice. And it's great. That's actually one of the reasons I love the broiler meals because I can literally um, put it under the broiler and those things are ready in less than 10 minutes, which is insanely, amazingly awesome. Your hardest thing is you're home by five and she goes to bed by seven. Exactly. So with this, you could have something already in the slow cooker or you could have a broiler meal that you know, you're just popping in the oven. Um, you know, or you have something like the sliders that are 15 minutes in the oven, things that are super duper fast and easy and your family's getting fed and you get to spend time together and you're made again, you make all of your mess on one day. I'm going to do my olive oil here and then I'm going to go back and add the rest of my ingredients. The what's for dinner now is all set for the week. Yes. I love that. Getting my olive oil in here because I want to give this a good toss 
first, and then we've got more ingredients for our soup that we're gonna put in here. But I wanna get those potatoes coated with my olive oil, right? So they don't turn on me. And here's the thing, that is the fat for our soup. We don't have to add any more fat to the pot. Okay, open it back up, boom, boom, and then we're gonna put in the rest of our ingredients. But it's, it's seriously, it's so easy. And we take shortcuts and do easy things like frozen chopped onion, you guys. Frozen chopped onion. If you don't have frozen chopped onion in your life, are you even living? I mean, honestly, I, I am a crier when it comes to onions, so frozen chopped onion is one of my favorite discoveries. And honestly, before five minutes, one hour, I don't think I knew about it. I don't think I knew that it existed. Okay. So. We've got all of our veggies in here, slow cooked chicken potato soup, off of our clean eating plan, and this recipe, the ingredients for this recipe, for my family of three, six dollars and one cent. So two dollars per person per serving. I didn't put the seasonings in, because I don't know, I'm crazy. Hold please. Ah, I got too busy talking, y'all. I got too busy talking. When a recipe says salt and pepper to taste, make sure that you can see your salt and pepper. Um, because otherwise you are going to be like, this is bland. Uh, because salt and pepper is needed. It's needed in recipes. All right. Oh, and I had one that I used earlier that I need to use again. Okay. You love knowing what's in your meals. Yes, I love that too. Um, the time together is such a big thing. Yeah, like it's so easy to grab fast food. Exactly, but here's the thing. This way you know what's in your meals. And honestly, a lot of these meals take less time than sitting in a dang drive through at dinner time. You don't feel like it does, but it takes forever in the drive through at dinner time. It does. It's busy. So there we go. So there we go. I have prepped five meals in 45 minutes for my family. And I'm going to show you everything that I have to clean up. I'm going to go over all the meals, show you everything, tell you all that I spent. So let's start with Start with our dirty dishes here. So here are my dirty dishes. I have, eh, let me move this out of the way. I have my bowl, right? I have my bowl and a measuring spoon, a knife, my cup that have water in it. That's it. This is everything that I have to clean up. I obviously have to wipe off my counter too. That's it. That is all of the cleanup that I have to do. And now for the week, I'm not gonna have prep cleanup to do. I'm not gonna be pulling out a knife and a cutting board again because I've already done all of that. It's done. I don't have to worry about it. So I'm gonna set the sky aside, get it out of our way. All right. And then I am going to show you the meals that I prepped so quickly and so easily, ready for my family. So first of all, we have the slow cooked chicken potato soup that we just finished. We have mini loaded burgers, uh, slow cooked chicken potato soup, all of these are set to a serving size of three. Cost my family $6 and a penny for those ingredients. Mini loaded burger ingredients were $9.64. We've got taco skillet that's gonna go with avocado and green salad and Fritos. It's gonna be amazing. $8.46. Again, total. So $2.82 per person per serving. Amazing. And then I've got my Cuban sliders, and you can see where I did the modifications, not using cheese, things like that, um, for our dietary restrictions in our house. Um, and those Cuban sliders, that was my expensive meal of the week, $11.22 for my family of three, versus $51 a Chipotle. Like, does it save money? Yes, yes, yes it does. And then barbecue chicken nachos. Here's the filling that's gonna go on top of my chicken nachos with the cheese and everything. Um, that one's going to be served with avocado slices and rice, $6.58 per for the serving size of three. So $2.19 per person per, per serving. So all told 
For these five meals for my family, 15 total servings, I spent $41.91 in ingredients. $41.91. My grocery budget for the week is $75. That means I still have $33 left to spend at the store for other items that we need. Um, and honestly, I didn't even need that much more this week. I think my total grocery bill was like $57 or something this week. It was really low. So it's so easy. You save so much money. And the average cost per serving for the week is $2.79. It's that, it, like, you can't not, right? You can't not. And again, right now, coupon code 10 off 10 off10off10off is going to save you $10 off of your first quarterly payment, which is amazing. So what other questions do y'all have about five dinners one hour? What other questions... Can I answer for you? I'm going to pull you closer so I can see it and read it better. Put on my glasses, all the things. Can I talk about Croctober? Is it in addition to the plan? Yes. Croctober is a bundle and the bundles are available to members. It is an add on, um, but it's fantastic. I love it every year. It's one that I pick up every single year. Um, big fan. Got some great, great meals with Croctober. So highly recommend it. But again, you have to be a member. And that one's launching in about 15 minutes, I think. So definitely worth it. What's the add-on stuff you talk of? Oh, she asked about a bundle. Um, so if, if <laughs> when you join five dinners, one hour, you're going to pick either the classic plan or the clean eating plan or the combo plan. And any one of those, if you use this code 10 off is going to save you $10. So let's say you pick the combo plan or let's say you pick the classic plan. That's going to take it to 21 quarterly payment of $26. Your next quarterly payment would have that additional $10. Um, so it takes it down to $2 and 17 cents a week is how much you would be spending if you if you want to break it down like $26 may feel like a lot may not feel like a lot to you but $2.17 a week probably doesn't feel like as much to you right and that's what it comes down to so you're going to have access for 90 days and so as soon as you log in you are going to see 60 recipes in your classic plan and then um at the end of next month so October 31st the oldest 20 recipes will fall away and you'll get 20 new recipes. And that's going to happen every single month during your plan. Um, and so that is your basic plan. If you do the combo plan, you get the classic and you get the clean eating. Plus they also give you combo recipes or I mean, sorry, uh, cold lunch recipes. Those are fixed. There's 170 of them. Um, but there are sometimes there are things that are specific to a, a cooking type like um, Croctober, specifically Crock-Pot meals. Or, and there, there are these kind of meals in your plan as well, but it's just a specific set set of recipes that members can pick up if they just want a little something extra, they want to put in a bonus. They are not required. They are not by any means necessary. They are, however, incredibly delicious. Yeah, my dinners are ready for the week. I know, it's insane. Took me 45 minutes and I was talking to y'all the whole time. Like, right? It's that easy. It's that easy. You love the desserts and the breakfast too. Yeah, and they're really cool about it because they will give member bonuses too. Like you'll just scroll down to the bottom of, of your current recipe list and there will be bonus recipes in there too. Awesome. Like they did a, there was one that went up this month for like slow cooker mashed potatoes. Yes, please, mashed potatoes that I can just set and forget all about that. Um, there have been cocktails and mocktails and desserts and all sorts of things that have shown up as just bonuses because they're like, hey, this is a cool recipe and it didn't really fit with the plan this month, but we thought you guys might enjoy it. Boom, here you go. So they're really, really good to us. Love it. You're welcome. What other questions do you guys have about five dinners one hour? We have, I have told you about the coupon code because who doesn't want to save 10 bucks? And um, shown you how I can make these five meals so super quickly. Um, yeah, it's amazing that they're all done so fast. Um, I know it's for dinner. I'm saving tons of money, like literally cut my grocery bill in half um, from seven years ago. And it's still, it maintains. I can feed my family of three all of the meals for the week because I use this for my dinners and oftentimes for my lunches. 
um, because I use the system and I'm only buying what I need. Nothing's going to waste. Nothing is in the back of my fridge getting all gross and funky um, and getting thrown out. Everything has a plan and a purpose. And because of that, I um, can feed my family of three on $75 a week. Now, that some of that is my area, but I was able to cut it back to $75 a week seven years ago and I can still do it because I've gotten better at it. And I shop my fridge, my freezer, and my pantry. So, so yes, you only pay, you pay once every three months. And you can cancel anytime. You won't want to, but you can. Um, and you don't have to jump through any hoops to do that. You just um, set it to cancel and it'll see out the rest of your plan and then go. And then you're done. So thank you so much for the flowers. Appreciate that, the rose. So yeah, any other questions you guys have about five dinners, one hour? All right, well, make sure that you are following. Make sure that you've liked this video. Make sure that you've shared this with friends because like we all need help getting dinner on the table. There is not one person I know of who's like, oh, I get to make dinner every single night for forever. Like even if you love cooking, like if you love cooking and you know how to cook and you've been doing this forever, you might want a little bit of break or might want something that's different to get off of like the regular rotation. Or if you have no idea how to cook or what you're doing or what goes together or what ingredients to use, this walks you through it step by step. We call it paint by numbers cooking. It's amazing. Yeah, if you save recipes, they do stay. Yeah, as long as you remember, you will have those recipes. You save them and they stay in your favorites folder and you have built like your own personal recipe box. It's amazing. Just hit that green heart. Yeah. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so, so much for joining me tonight. Don't forget to join Renee tomorrow night at eight and we will talk to you all very soon. Take care.